G'day everyone, Gareth here from Organic Growing Melbourne. I got home today and got a special delivery from Daly's Fruit Tree Nursery. Um, I've got four actually, four plants that I'm expecting. They're all um, set up, ready to go, um, all at different times unfortunately, but never mind. Um, I've come around the side of the house here because it's blowing a gale. See, it's been a weird day. It's hot, humid, it's been sunny. We've had thunderstorms, and um, I think we're in for a lot of rain, but it's very hot and humid, which is good. I like that because I know all my plants, the dragon fruits, all my tropicals will be loving this. But today, Let's find out what we've got in here. First thing I do, take this tag out. That might be enough. Let's have a look, see what it is. There we go. What have we got here? Oh! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was not expecting this. I thought it was going to be something else. Does anybody know what that is? A few of you are going to know what this is. Let me get this tag out. Oh, this is this is exciting. Really, really exciting. I have been waiting so long. Hang on, I've just I've got to use another hand. The tag stuck. Plastic. There it is out here, look. Can't get it out. I'm going to have to rip this plastic off me to get this tag out. There we go. Here we go. It's looking really, really good. And this is a dwarf Jabodi Kaba or Jabba de Kaba. Costada. Now, the reason why I'm really, really excited about this one is this particular Jabba de Kaba can fruit in two years. I mean, that's obviously going to be a subtropical environment, so maybe three or four years this could possibly fruit possibly five but either way a lot quicker than the ones I've got out the front which can take up to 10 years so I'm gonna pot this I'm gonna put it in a bigger pot and um, give it a nice good watering it's obviously come all the way from northern northern New South Wales let's travel a long way so I'm gonna get this potted up and then I'll show you the, uh, the finished result There it is, guys. Pot it up. Now we're going to water it in. Let that soak in. Let's see how well draining this potting mix is. I can't stress enough, actually, on how important potting mix is. When you invest in this rare collectible, you are uh, you really need to purchase a premium potting mix. Um, don't buy the really cheap stuff. It's um, see the water's all going through, so we soak that. That's very windy today, so I'm going to put this. Just behind my compost bin here. So it's got a little bit of protection from the wind. And I've got a sprinkler right here, which is set to go every two days. Um, they won't go off today. We've had a fair bit of rain today. 
So that, that's going to get heaps of water and it's going to be protected from the wind behind my compost bin and beside the orange tree. So really, really, really excited about this one. Um, I have several Jabodi Carbas now um, and I want them all. I've gone a bit Jabodi Carba crazy. And um, they're just an awesome looking plant. And remarkable looking when they flower and fruit. If you've never if you've never seen a Jabba de Kaaba before I would highly recommend searching and um, have a look at these these plants. They're an amazing plant. Alright we're gonna call that a wrap and I'll uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching bye